Hey, hey, everybody, here with a quick video on Bethany Frankel. Bethany Frankel was doing a podcast, and she said, you know what? Uh, Andy Cohen and Bravo probably hate her, but she doesn't care. Doesn't care about burning bridges. She says she's not biting the hand that fed her because she feeds herself. Listen, people, hold on one second. We're going to share the screen really quickly. And here, Bethany saying in her own words, I'm only going to play a smidgen, people, because we don't want to get in trouble for using people's videos. But hold on one second. Let me play this for you. With great certainty that everyone at Bravo likely despises me, including Andy Cohen, because it's very personal and because they have to protect the realm. Whew. So she said, you know, they despise her because it's personal and they have to pretty much protect their brand. So they're pissed that someone that they used to consider a friend, so to speak, is now waging a war against them. We're going to get more into this story, people, right after this. <laughs> everybody i'm going to share a screen with you really quickly let's go ahead and share the screen and get into this bethany frankel story thanks to page six so bethany frankel says andy cohen bravo despised her for union efforts they have to protect the realm so bethany frankel isn't making any friends at bravo the real housewives of new york alum 52 said her efforts to unionize the reality tv industry have made execs at the network despise her i can tell you with great certainty that everyone at bravo likely despises me including andy cohen because it's very personal and because they have to protect the realm she said on team coco's literally with rob Lowe podcast monday um her comments came one month after frankel confirmed she was trying to organize a union for reality tv performers amid the ongoing we, you know, SAG strike. Let me just X out of this here. Okay. Um, she also sent Bravo and his parent company, NBC Universal, a legal letter containing bombshell claims that reality stars are manipulated, um, plied with bulls, and are victims of revenge porn. Okay, that was her and Andy back in better days, I guess you can say. Um, I come out on top made all this money, been the shining example of being successful on reality TV with all the with all these other casualties who um, lives have been destroyed, the skinny girl founder told Rob after Rob Lowe on his podcast. And instead of just counting my money and not pissing anybody off, I choose to, you know, shake the whole thing up and burn bridges and torch the kingdom style, okay? She went on referencing the Game of Thrones character. Elsewhere in the interview, she claimed reality stars would be exploited for cheap later amid the Hollywood strikes, which have brought most of the industry to a standstill. SAG reached out to me. And while we're talking about a union and what that would look like, they also want to know in short term what they could do to help, Frankel said. And I was saying there should be some language, some contract language that goes into these contracts that everybody in reality um, knows and to, to include. Like they can just exploit people with these unrealistic NDAs, she continued. So it's a very complicated thing. I walk myself into while also burning bridges and seeming like I'm biting the hand that fed me. She said, but I fed myself. There are a lot of people who didn't get fed. 
Frankel also said the most scary thing about her anti-reality TV crusade was that she's not a disgruntled former employee. As a person who's been on more reality television than anyone could, who could speak on this topic, that's what's the most scary um, about to me. I'm not disgruntled, she said. I wasn't fired. I was asked back multiple times. I made millions of dollars. I left twice, so I'm allowed to speak on this. So she's saying in, in essentially that she is the perfect person to have this discussion. Why? Because she's not a disgruntled employee. She was invited back multiple times and she left on her own terms. She wasn't fired. Earlier this month, Page Six reported that Frankel had enlisted around 80 reality short, um, show cast members in her fight against the TV giant. Her lawyer, Hollywood ha heavyweight, Brian Freeman declined to name names. However, he told us NBC, Bravo, and its agents have wrongfully silenced even the most famous of these reality performers and continue to do so today. Okay, Their stories are horrific, and in due time, they will be made public, he went on. A source familiar with the suit also told Page Six that the stars joining Frankel were well-known personalities. You will definitely know their names, the insider said. Meanwhile, NBC Universal hit back after Freeman accused the company of refusing to allow its stars to break their non-disclosure agreements after experiencing alleged mistreatment. A spokesperson for Bravo told Page Six that current and former cast members are free to discuss and disclose any allegedly unlawful acts in the workplace, such as harassment or discrimination or any other concept they have um, reason to believe is inappropriate. The Bravo rep also emphasized that the network requires the third-party production companies it hires to offer cast and crew multiple channels to report workplace misconduct. So they're saying that, you know what, I know you're trying to say we're shutting these people up, but they have the right to speak. Now, listen, do I think they shutting the people up? Of course they are. Of course they are. Are they doing it in an indirect way? Of course they are. Um, so, you know, they're, they're trying to say legally, we letting them speak. But behind the scenes, it's probably like, if you speak, this is what's going to happen to you. You'll never work again. You won't do this. You won't do that. Listen, this fight is going to get uglier and uglier and uglier before it gets better. And I'm just going to report it when it comes out. So listen, guys, at least I'll say this, you know, Bethany Frankel, but she has a cash in the bank too, to not be afraid, right? Um, Bethany Frankel is fighting this fight. She's not backing down. We're going to see how it goes. How do you feel about Bethany coming out and saying, listen, look, I know they hate me. I know I burnt bridges, but I fed myself. Um, Bravo is not the house that fed me. So we're good. Okay. I'm good. That's what she's pretty much saying. So listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. How do you feel about Bethany's latest statement that Bravo and Andy probably despise her? If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, thanks for watching and welcome back. Everybody out there, hit that like button, okay? Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.